type of preparation have you been going through for this ceremony? Well, I'm just here to attend the ceremony. I've been more involved in getting ready for other meetings that are going to be here, but we see the enormous crowds that are arriving from all over the world. It's, uh, it's just uh, always an amazing event when there's a canonization, but one that is as important as this one is in the life of the church that is going to attract literally millions of people from all over is uh, an extraordinary event. And everywhere you go, you run into people from uh, different parts of the globe who uh, had, many of them had had the opportunity to be with John Paul II in his pastoral visits around the world and uh, many young people that participated in World Youth Day and now they're coming back to, to be here for his canonization. And this canonization in particular with, with two popes becoming uh, saints, what does this mean for the Catholic Church? Well, uh, in the last century we have had extraordinary popes and many of them were very, very holy men. A number have been canonized or beatified. Uh, I think it's a, it's a reminder of how God in his province is providing wonderful leadership for the church. And these two men, although they were so very, very different in their personalities and uh, their background, both of them touched the hearts of people all over the world. And uh, so the canonization of, of two popes together is, uh, uh, is quite an event, and the fact that both of them uh, are of a very recent vintage. So, for instance, uh, I knew Pope John Paul II very well, been with a number of times, and uh, when I was in the seminary, John XXIII was the pope. So, for us, part of the, the amazing uh, aspect of this canonization is that it's so soon after their death. And, and so many people who will be here today who actually knew these men personally and uh, worked with them and saw them and, and were benefited by their ministries. Uh, so that makes it very special too. How are you going to be spending your time until Sunday? Well, just meetings and getting ready for, uh, for meetings that I have next week and, uh, and getting in some nice walks like I did today. We went to visit the church of San Clemente, which is one of the oldest and uh, most beautiful churches in the city. And I had been there for about 40 years, so it was nice to go back and visit again. Well, thank you. We thank look forward you. to seeing you later this week.